Well, here we go again. Uh, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you have seen this golf cart before. This is an easy go marathon, 36 volt electric. I believe the year is, uh, might be like a 1990. I'd have to look it up again. Um, it's back in here for the same issues that it was having last time. Uh, so my dad purchased this from a golf cart flipper about a year ago. And when he test drove it, it was acting fine. Uh, as soon as he got home, it started acting up. And what it does is uh, when you press the accelerator down, it doesn't have full range. It won't go all the way up to full speed. It only seems like it goes about a quarter as fast as it should most of the time. Sometimes you'll jump on it and it takes off and it acts just fine. Um, we tested the uh, potentiometer um, last time we had it in the shop and we kind of ruled out the potentiometer. The potentiometer is the thing that controls the throttle. It has a linkage. You probably can't see here. Let me turn on some light. See that linkage rod there? That's coming back off the throttle. That goes to this device here. This is a potentiometer. And we tested that. It should uh, have a resistance value of like zero to 5,000 uh, ohms or whatever that is. I think this one goes to six. So uh, when they go to seven, if it were to go to seven, then it would uh, kind of kick out and the cart then would just die. When you press the accelerator all the way down, the cart would die if the potentiometer went to seven. That's not the case. So this one ranges from zero to six. When the pedal's like it is now, you're getting zero value. And as you press it down, you can watch the numbers go up. One, two, three, four, five, it gets to about 6,000. So the potentiometer seems like it's working fine. It's not glitchy. It's not like it's jumping from one to four or zero to five, you know, or not running all the way up to like eight or 10 or overload. So the potentiometer seems like it's fine. The solenoid seems like it's doing its job. It clicks on and off. You can hear it click, click, click. You know, when we're testing it, we're getting 36 volt across. Um, we're not seeing any um, anything out of the ordinary with a solenoid. It's, it's acting fine. So we don't think it's a solenoid. And I say we, uh, I'm not, Super great with this electrical stuff, but my brother-in-law is actually an electrical engineer. He's pretty good with this stuff. So he's been over helping me diagnose this cart. And so potentiometer, solenoid. We replaced the ignition switch. It did have a keyed ignition switch. Last time we fooled with this a couple of months ago, we put on just a toggle switch. Kind of afraid one of the kids was gonna lose the key anyhow. So we just changed that out. So we kind of took that, you know, that, that doesn't seem like we took that variable out of the equation. So that never seemed like it was a real problem. It was kind of glitchy before. So we feel good about that. The forward, neutral, reverse switch, which is the big handle here. Forward, neutral, and reverse all operate as they should. When you put it forward, it goes in forward. You put it in neutral, nothing. We put it in reverse, it goes in reverse. That works like it should every time. I don't think that there would be anything in that switch that would cause it to not run to full speed. I think it would just be, you know, either in gear or out of gear. Um, and from the research that we've done online, it seems like as long as your switch is going forward, neutral, and reverse, it's not jumping out of gear or anything like that, or, you know, then, then it, if it's going forward, neutral, reverse, it's good. So we don't think that would be limiting, you know, the power of the cart. So really, there's only a couple other components to this electrical system. Um, you've got basically five main components. You've got this, forward, neutral, reverse switch. You've got a solenoid. You've got the potentiometer, the motor, and the speed controller. Now, last time this golf cart was in the shop, we had kind of, we, we, you know, we said these three components are good. That, that, that is good. We went ahead and changed out that switch anyhow. So we're running out of components. We, we narrowed it down to either speed controller or the motor. So we started fooling around with the motor. And again, this has been about a month ago. Start fooling around with the motor. We we're making sure all our connections were tight and everything. Well, the studs, the, there are four big posts. You see that the cables go back, there's four heavy cables that go back to the motor that, uh, you know, provide power to the motor. 
one of those studs broke on me. So we took that motor apart. And when we took it apart, we uh, kind of jerry-rigged a stud and it, it seemed like it worked fine. And we put the motor back in and this cart came right back to life, full power, everything was hunky-dory. And we thought, well, it must have been that stud had twisted the wire inside and when we took that motor apart, we fixed it about a month ago and we thought that was the issue, we had, we had solved it. Well, it ran great for about a month and it started acting up again. It's doing the same thing that it was before. So, I have, again, this is my dad purchased this cart. This is mom and dad's. I have another myself. I've, I have an easy go marathon this, that is essentially identical to this cart. So we took the motor out of mine, which is a good cart. We took the motor out of mine and we mounted it up in here and it's doing the same thing. It's no power, half power. Took the motor back out of this one, stuck it back in mine. My cart is acting just fine. So we don't think that the motor is the issue. We really have run out of components that it could be. So speed controller, it's about gotta be the speed controller. Um, so with that in mind, speed controller controls the speed. It, it adjusts the, uh, you know, based on what the potentiometer is telling it, it adjusts the amount of voltage or amperage or however that works going to the motor. So if the potentiometer is good, the motor's good, solenoids sending power to everything, forward, neutral, and reverse good, ignition switch is on, it's about gotta be the speed controller. So that's where we're at today. That speed controller, like so many others, is a very expensive component to replace. You can have them rebuilt. Um, you can buy a brand new sort of uh, just for this cart. Yeah, and that'll give you kind of a better look at what's going on here. It's got uh, four big posts on top. It's got three little spade terminals on the side. And that's pretty much it on the connections on there. So to have that rebuilt, I want to say was, I don't even remember, 200, 150, something like that, 250. I, I can't exactly remember. To buy a new one, like, you know, go to a golf cart store and buy a new one was very expensive, four or 500 bucks. You can buy performance controllers that, you know, get high speeds and stuff like that and racing and, you know, they drag race these things, so. That's not what this cart is. This cart is just putting around from the house to the barn, go down to the pond, grandkids jumping on and off the back, stuff like that. This is a grandma and grandpa cart. So we don't need any performance upgrades. So my sister got online on eBay, I believe is where she found this. And she found this controller. This is as cheap a controller as she could find. I think she said it was like 125 bucks. So we're talking like hundreds of dollars cheaper than a new one at one of the golf cart shops. There's all the pertinent information on the thing. The only difference that I can see right off the bat between this one and the one that's on that cart is it has this plastic post, four post plug, which that one does, you know, the one on the cart does not. And it also has this. That post is also not on the one on the cart. Got four big posts. It's got these other three over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the wires off one at a time, transfer them over to this thing. Those, uh, this B minus, B plus, A2, and M, I'm hoping are also stamped on top of this controller. If they're not, the wires are. That's B plus, I think there's B minus, uh, matter of fact, there's M and A2. So the big ones are all marked. I'm gonna have to poke around on here on these little ones and see if I can figure those out. But I'm just gonna transfer the wires off of here, you know, transfer this, this out with that other one. And uh, I'll let you guys know what comes up with these, uh, these little wires here. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Well, I, I went ahead and pulled the one out. I was not gonna be able to transfer wires one at a time to the new one, just, just wasn't working out. So um, 
just so you can, you know, kind of see them side by side. They look like the bolt pattern is going to line right up. Same height, same width, same depth. I mean, these things look really, really similar other than, you know, this doesn't have that and it doesn't have that. I was able to confirm that this M minus, B minus, B plus, and A2 are the exact over here. It's not on the plastic anywhere, but it is in fact stamped onto the metal tabs. So it's nice to be able to confirm all that. Uh, again, the wiring on the cart was, you know, the wiring's labeled, but you know, in any case, it's nice to confirm. Uh, the thing I'm not able to confirm, this says J1, 2, and 3 on these posts. I'm going to have to assume, and I know you should never assume, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that's J1, 2, and 3. I'm going to, I am going to wire those up just like, you know, just like they were. So, uh, there is no markings at all on the case or the, the tabs themselves. I kind of sanded them a little bit looking for anything. There are no markings at all. So, we're going to put it just like it was. And uh, I'll show you here in a minute. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, speed controller mounted in there. Got all the wires on. The four mounting holes lined right up. There's really no issues at all putting it back in there. Um, I put dielectric grease on everything after I uh, sanded all the terminal ends of the wires. Put dielectric grease all over all the connections. And then uh, you can see a kind of a red stuff on top of that uh, terminal there. Some of these uh, wires are kind of hanging out a little bit there. I sprayed uh, battery terminal protector all over that stuff just to kind of help seal up those wires, keep from corroding. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, cover on the thing now, and uh, we'll take it for a test drive. Well, I got the uh, cover mounted back on there. I mounted the uh, motor cover back on. I'm going to throw the seat on it now. We are all buttoned up. Let's take it for a test drive. It's dark outside, so it's going to be hard for you to see, but put the on, reverse, promising so far. Help a little bit. Okay, forward. We're rolling. Feels good. Feels just like my cart. It's definitely not sluggish like it was. That hill okay. That was a kind of a gentle slope. Let's go over here and get on a little steeper little bank here. This pretty steep little bank here. You probably can't tell the angle of the ground, but it's pretty steep right here. Walk right up it, no problem. Okay, let's go ahead and try that in reverse. It definitely would not have pulled that hill before. You know, when it was acting up. Okay. We're in a, it's kind of a, like a wash here, like a little ravine. So it's steep on both sides here. So this is going to be just as steep going backwards. Hold it no problem. Okay, guys. We might have ourselves a winner. Well, I'm putting the cart through its paces, giving it a proper test drive tonight. I've been back in the woods here for about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. I figured before I send it back to mom and dad's, I want to make sure it can do everything they want it to do. So far, so good. Well, we're out of the woods. This is a long, gradual, sloping hill. It's a great sled riding hill. Cart is pulling it great. I live on a dead end gravel road, and it's about midnight on a Monday. Traffic is not an issue. I just wanted to come out here and give 
given a thorough test for high speed. All right, well, I rode that card around for probably about an hour and a half tonight, and it is acting just fine. So the fix worked. Um, if you guys are working on a easy go marathon or maybe some other electric cart, I hope I helped you with this one. If I did, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos of me working on golf carts, four wheelers, all kinds of stuff around home here, click a subscribe button. I'm actually uh, just starting. It's kind of hard to see back in the barn here. This is a new barn we just had built a few weeks ago. I'm just starting to uh, frame up the walls. I framed up this little piece of wall so I can get my panel hung. I hung the meter base on the uh, backside or the outside of the wall there. I've got the uh, wiring between the two done. The county inspector was out and green tagged it. So I'll be making videos on how I did that. I'm gonna frame up the interior walls here. I'll be doing uh, all the wiring, all the insulating, all the paneling. You know, I'm gonna put ceiling in, light fixtures, everything to finish out the inside of this barn. Click the subscribe button to see all those videos. They'll be coming soon. And until the next video, guys, keep on tinkering.